In today's episode of Homestead How, Jen and I are at our movie theater we purchased about a month ago, and we're having our grand reopening on Friday, which is very stressful. We're trying to get everything ready, and on top of it, Jen and I are going to be on the news. We're going to be on TV. of exciting we got our first poster we still have this old one here from a couple years ago we have the back to the future one which jen and i purchased but this is the first movie size this one's too small you got to get the movie size one we have our first official movie poster up we're going to be playing minions after we play back to the future we just have our first concession shipment in here and it's a big one i guess i didn't know what to expect because you just look at a sheet of paper and you say, give me five of these, eight of these, ten of these. So we're going to start opening this up and see what we got. I really don't know what this is. I mean, I ordered it. This says popcorn. I don't think I would have... What? I didn't order anything related to popcorn. I would hope not. Oh, there's nachos. Oh, my gosh. Big old bag of nachos. Yeah, we have the see, nacho have machine over that? here. This is what happens when the woman's not here. He goes nuts and orders everything. Okay, then we have these, which... I didn't know what these were, but Jen was saying, man, it'd be nice to get cotton candy for people. And then the yeah, guy said, would. we have this cotton candy thing. You know what we're going to charge for these? Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. How much for these? Shouldn't you know that since you ordered them? Isn't that the drink? What the heck did you order? I wasn't here. Bug juice. Oh, yay. Bug juice. Oh, jeez. How have I never heard of bug juice? The knee. Movie theater size whoppers. Holy boy. The... She told me. Twizzlers. Struts with fruity gummy candy hot dog. Okay. Our first huge shipment. It's exciting, right, Jen? It is. Now we gotta add all this to a point of sale system. Alright, so Carrie and I bought a bunch of supplies to put up for the party for the Back to the Future. Decorations. Decorations. We're getting some blue and white balloons because in Back to the Future 1 they did Enchantment Under the Sea and they had blue and white. So we're going to also have balloons in here but my girls are here from school and they're going to help me put up stuff all around here so we can make it nice and neat and party looking in here for the first grand reopening. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do on Friday for the grand reopening and this is the plan. Our friend John Otto, who's awesome, agreed to come help us with popcorn, which is a huge lifesaver since we're still rookie level at this. And he's, there's an art to making really good popcorn. We got better on our last time, but John is going to be on popcorn, and Katie's going to be on the cash register, Alyssa's going to be on soda, and Emma is going to be greeting people with these little cards that say reserved. And then you can help people to say, okay, you're here, here's your ticket. Now you can go, you can tell them, you can go pick a seat, and you can put this little reserve thing on it oh, with a sticker. Have the yeah, and you can stick it to the seat, and then you can take your ticket and you can go outside and look at the DeLorean time machine. You can come up and buy concessions. You can go down and look at the little museum piece. You can go check out the prizes. Yes, you're gonna help them with that. We're, that's why we have to set up a table in there. What's it set at now? So we are finished for tonight. I think we did pretty good. We put all these decorations up. The girls did a really great job. Pair, we sold an advertisement last week for Beams Tree Service down the road. And Jen and I filmed that last week, edited it, had the voiceover created, and have the whole commercial 30 seconds or so. And I was just able to convert it into the proper format and get it on the projector. It took a couple hours to do that, so I'm pretty excited. We just tested it. It looks great. Beams Tree Service for all your needs. From big trees to small, Beams does it all. With our years of experience and state-of-the-art equipment, 
Beams provides the best tree care services in Marquette County. All of our equipment is high quality and maintained to provide you with the best service possible. From stump grinding to tree removal and even snow plowing, we have the right tools for all your needs. Call Beams today for your free estimate. 608-697-2808. That's 608-697-2808. Our grand reopening is on Friday and we still have a ton of work to do. How do they know they're just going straight? So this is super exciting, our grand reopening. We're finally going to be showing movies after a couple weeks of getting prepared. Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. Jen and I are in the letter room and we're going to collect the letters so that we can write Back to the Future 1, 2, 3. So we got Pepsi all sorted, now I gotta make more phone calls. I got your message that you won't be able to make the Friday showing. I'm sorry to hear that, I hope you feel better and I appreciate the heads up. Sure, this is Carrie from Montello Theater calling back. She had called inquiring about um, advertising on the screen. We got Montello Theater shirts in here. I'm gonna wait to open this until Jen gets here. She should be here any minute now. So our koozies have been selling out, so I made some These koozies. koozies. So I have just regular koozies here, and then I cut out the HTV, and then I have to iron it on, which is a pain, but it's well worth it because people are really liking them. But I also make t-shirts. I started making the t-shirts and the sweaters for myself and the girls and Carrie, but I could not keep up. So I actually got a company to come and help me. Limelight Impressions. Yes. Out of Oxford. Yes, and the other thing is she's a long-time friend. I've known her since seventh grade. She's just so awesome. So I can't wait. I'm like getting goosebumps trying to open. I want to open this so bad. This came when Jen wasn't here and I haven't yeah. opened it yet. I waited for her. So, yeah, we ordered shirts from her. Oh, my God. So these are pre-ordered shirts that people purchased already. So if you're one of them, your shirt is here. Look at how she does this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mary Plum, first one I picked out. Aunt Mary, you got your shirt. So she packages these shirts for us. She puts the names on it, everything. Awesome, awesome. Love her company. Love and everything. the quality is amazing. Oh my Look gosh, at these. Yeah. We, I saw, even... we had one uh, demo one from before. These are way better than oh, anything yeah. we've seen. Yeah. So she did everything for me from getting the shirts to putting it on to getting transfers, everything. So thank you, Andy. If you're interested in buying anything from her, I Custom will shirts, like, keychains, yeah, coffee mugs, posters, hats, banners. My hat, yeah, they, they embroidered the hat, embroidered that. focus, awesome hat, they do big banners and signs and everything you everything could imagine. And, everything you could want and you're supporting a local veteran owned right. business nearby, Limelight Impressions. Yeah. And I really don't want to open this because she folds them really well too, but I want to show you what it looks like. Really nice quality, lovely, lovely uh, shirt. Big news is... It's Wednesday, our grand reopening is on Friday, and we have Channel 27 News, a major news station from Madison, coming in here in just a short time. So we gotta get ready. We're gonna get everything cleaned up a little bit better. We're prepping, we got a popcorn delivery, we got a shirt delivery. We gotta put the candy up. Make we gotta put the nice candy up. Here. Jen and I have all the candy, everything ready. She's got koozies, we got cups, we've got history books. We have a decorated Enchantment of the Sea style, Back to the Future. We have shirts, lots of shirts. Do you mind if I film her, but I won't okay. get you? Just... 
<laughs> yeah, forget both cameras, you'll be good. The first thing, just like I had Terry do, I know now it's a movie theater, it's been this for a while. What are some of the other uses that this building has had? What are some of the other events that have happened oh here? Oh my gosh. So, like I said, it's a 140 year old building, so it didn't start out as a movie theater, obviously. Where they had radio, before they had TV, you know, before they had any kind of activities, they would do stuff here. It was called an opera house, but it wasn't to sing opera, it was to do other things. So uh, we have a wooden floor out there. They would play basketball, they would do roller skating, they had a store downstairs, you know, they did banquets and everything. So, so that was definitely amazing and different. I'm used to doing YouTube channels and videos, but I'm not used to being on the news. So Carrie and I are going to be on the news tonight. So we're back at home now. We had our interview on 27 News, which is going on. The town's only theater has been closed since the start of the pandemic. But now a family of six is working to fill the seats again. Caroline Dade has you covered on their plans for the future and the history they've discovered along the way. My family's favorite thing is going to the movies. Part of what makes the theater so special is how long it's endured and been a fixture in town. It opened in the late 1800s as an opera house, but has hosted events of all kinds. People gathered here for banquets. There were wrestling matches here. The former governor of Wisconsin spoke here. Roller skating, all sorts of plays. Thousands of stories were told in this building before a single movie ever played. A big part of the work the Manns are doing here at the theater is discovering this building's history. And now they're collecting everything they find, including this old projector, in a small museum in the building's basement. In keeping with tradition, tickets will only be $5. I think it might hit me kind of hard seeing people come back in. I'm really excited. It's going to be surreal, but I'm excited to see the reaction of, of people that get to come back to the movie theater that they really love. In Montello, Caroline Dade, 27 News. And Jen's still working. What are you working on? I'm making koozies, so I'm cutting all these out. And I got to weed them all, and then I got to oh, press them. Nice. So I thought that was pretty, so I got that one, and then I got this color. The work never ends. What time is it? It's almost 9 o'clock. Yeah. The other big news that we wanted to share, this is awesome. Big, big, big thank you to Kathleen McGuinn. She came out to the movie theater and interviewed us. And boy, she put together a great article. So it's not just that. Just wait. It's the whole front page. Yeah. Thursdays. Look at that. September 15th. Girls are on here. Triplets are on there. Work in the concession stand. Yep. Jen and myself. And I really like, too, because we specifically said... A uh, big, big thank you to the Anderson family for all the amazing work that they've done in the 20 years leading up to this. This is why so many people are thanking us for reopening the movie theater, but we got want to give credit where due. That everyone loves the movie theater because of the great job they did. And she also called out our good buddy, Mr. John Otto, who's going to be helping us with the grand reopening. He's going to be doing popcorn and. Um, we just uh, have been really enjoying spending time with him and he's been teaching us the history and everything but get the Marquette County Tribune get a subscription to it support your local little newspaper it's a great one we just did we're on the front page whole big story and then if you go to page two we're also on page two which is exciting Montello theater Ooh. so I just I picked up three of these and hopefully you can see that okay let me look at them. Wow. grand reopening this weekend Come and meet the new owners, the Mann family, Friday, Back to the Future 1, Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future 3. All tickets, only $5. It's a picture of the uh, marquee in the front of the building right that's there. That's awesome. So that's really cool.